blacks, Hispanics, and natives are here. This didn't just only happen to the so-called African Americans. Don't it you know? To, it happened to Native Americans too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Native don't you know that Abraham Lincoln hung 38 Sioux yeah. natives in one day, right. which was the biggest mass lynching ever recorded? Virginia. Yeah. I mean, that was a good first time. Yeah, man. And, so and, what happened over there? And even more. Your ancestors, you're saying your ancestors settled in Massachusetts, right? Yeah. And they didn't have no problem. I mean, some of them did. Well, like, listen to what like, I'm saying. Like an your ancestors had no problem settling in the land that was taken from the Native Americans. Yeah, hey, come build with us, sisters. Come here to word of the Lord. That's what I'm saying. So you're saying it with a prideful spirit, not even knowing. Hey, hey brother, come get some did. knowledge with us, brother. What I'm saying? Your, father, your father settled in lands and named those lands after themselves, whether they lived I mean, in the north or south. Yeah, I mean, they named it after themselves and also Native Americans, such as Massachusetts. That's named after Native Americans. Right. But I mean... But your yeah, people is, colonized. They did colonize. Right. And I, so I is that not a benefit? For, for white people who colonized on the Mayflower, yes, that's absolutely a benefit for the British people who came over. And those are your people. I mean, it might be. I'm not really sure. What do you mean you're not sure? I don't know my answer. Look, we can't say, oh, we're not we don't, we're not sure if this these are our people. We know these are our people. Right. We suffer these things. Right. We still go through hell till this day in 2024. Teach, Simeon, that's right. Jay, as so-called blacks and Hispanics, we can literally walk down the street and get gunned down yeah. by the police system yeah. that your people up. set up. Our people, my people? Your people. Who set up the police force? What is who, the word you officer? Tell me. Your people, Jay. Who's my people? So-called white people. White people. Right. Just like a, gen a general flat statement of people who came from Lithuania, people who came from Ireland, and people who came from Britain. Absolutely. It's just a generalized statement. So you don't claim white people as your people? I mean, I claim Lithuanian people and Irish people. <laughs> and what? But you see, <laughs> you see how Esau is a double talker. Caucasian white. On any job application. So you claim? Yeah, I guess. So you have to. If you don't claim, you claim. I mean, honestly, I'm, on most of my foot, I don't, I don't, I don't self-identify. I don't self-identify on job. And then when let's it, gra it's, grab that. Let's finish out the scripture. Because yeah. this is how Esau likes to get down. Right. They don't want to claim the things that they've done, the atrocities of our people. Claim the if we, we, if we, if we, accru uh, if we committed these atrocities to you, you would be looking for justice. Yeah. You that's would be saying, up. you I would be saying, I'm not disagreeing we want with you that that's fucked up. Like, I didn't do that. I think he wants to know who Esau is. That's what you're yeah, about yeah. to ask. Yeah, I, I, is, <laughs> let's show, you, show him who Esau is. Grab that in Genesis 20, uh, 25. Shot. We'll show you who Esau is. And then after that, let's go into Obadiah. Because we're going to show you the, the characteristics and the description of your people. Are your people Caucasian? Do they come from Caucasus Mountains? Uh, Caucasus Mountains, yeah, the Lithuanian part thing. Because that's Esau. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's show him who Esau is. This is Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto her, uh -huh. two nations are in thy womb. So two nations oh. are in thy womb. Who are the nations? So we're going to get that. And two manners of people <laughs> shall be separated from thy vow. Two manners of people. So even the customs, the things that they do, oh. even how they act and react to certain situations is very different. You know, as so-called blacks and Hispanics, guess what? When we got out of order, our parents whooped our ass. A lot of white kids I know, they don't get ass whoopings. They get, oh, I got ass whoopings. Maybe you did, but as yeah. a whole consensus, the majority don't. Y'all get maybe your tablet taken away. Read? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one people shall be stronger than the other people. Would you say so-called blacks, Hispanics are stronger than so-called white people just on, on a physical, spiritual, mental aspect? Because even hey, despite sis, come all, with this, us real all quick, this that sister. has happened to us, we are still here, are we not? We still wake, wake up every day yeah. to go and bust our ass and work yeah, for your people. That. So we're that. strong, Reed. He said, hey, he said, I respect that. Right. I respect the work ethic, yes. Yeah, I got a work ethic too. <laughs> because we're strong, though. That's what you don't understand. There's a spiritual a aspect to this, Reed. And the elder shall serve the younger. Uh huh. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. So those twins, Reed. And the first came out red. The first came out what? Red. Jay, when you stand in the sun, what color do you turn? If, if, I, oh, if red, somebody were to red, smack red, you really hard, oh, red. When sure. you get really angry, pink, pink, red, pink, all that shit. Pink, red. That's all the same, man. It's it? all the same. <laughs> green, all over, like a hairy garment. And hairy. So when you go into the history of that, white people are what? Red and hairy. Are they not? Cavemen. Were they not cavemen? Am I hairy? Do you want to like? Captain I mean, like, Jay. Yeah, yeah, Captain Caveman, I'm speaking right. on a general consensus. You may hairy, not be hairy hairy yourself, but I'm speaking hairy. on a general consensus. Yeah, pink and hairy, sure. Okay, Label. now let's go to Obadiah. 
now you know that's who Esau is. Esau right there is telling you, oh, actually, go back. Now let's grab his characteristics also. It tells you a couple of things that he's a hunter. Do your people love to hunt animals? For My no people, reason? no. What do you mean your people? Again, Jay. So My people don't hunt, bro. So white people <laughs> My people might hunting. I, I don't have any relatives or ancestors that hunt. <laughs> Jay, we're speaking on a consensus as a nation. When right. you look at us, we're not talking about individuals. We're talking about nation. Come get some as knowledge. As a nation, we suffer through poverty. We suffer through turmoil in America. As a Dude, nation, as, as a, a nation. collective of people. As a collective people. Through so-called poverty. blacks, Hispanics, and yeah, natives, we I mean, suffer. So as a nation, your people like to do certain things. Let's like read the characteristics of Esau. And uh, Genesis yeah. 25, 27. And the boys grew. Uh-huh. And Esau was a cunning hunter. A what? <laughs> a cunning hunter. When you go into that word cunning, it means deceptiveness. It means deception. Read. A man of the field. A man of what? A man of the field. A man of the field. Who walks around slaughtering lions, tigers, giraffes. whales, giraffes, uh, slaughtering sharks? Not me. <laughs> not, me not, my, not my family. Jay, we're not saying you personally. We're speaking on a consensus, Jay. Hey, look, I don't know. know. He said, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. One picture. All I did was put hunting yeah. rhino. That's all I did. Hunting rhino. white people showed up? Absolutely. <laughs> one. Okay. <laughs> Ain't no black type people going to show up, in, Jay. Type in hunting lions and let's yeah. see if it's. So, hey, sis, come here to work, sis. So called black people walking out to lions and hunting them for no reason. Right. Hunting let's lions. just see. Minding their business, right? And then after that, type in hunting whales. Hunting <laughs> whales. <laughs> Hey, let me What's see. That? Who are the people that lions? hunt lions? Look at that. I don't know. I don't yeah. even know where lions that's, are like, uh, Jay. Jay. That's like natural to Jay. I don't I've never seen a lion in my fucking life. Jay. Well, it's, it's Jay fine. is you right now have, but being yeah. very fine. percent of your other people have. Right? Who's my other people? The people that we gotta uh, define them. that robbed you of your riches. The colonizers, Jay. The colonizers. <laughs> in America? Oh, Jay. Hey, look, what? America? Hey, hey Jay, you surrounded by lions right now. You don't even know it. Right. <laughs> Now, he, and he loyal, and he's confounded at that one. And hey, look on that shirt. Look at that shirt. <laughs> a pack of lions, man. We, we are a pack of lions, Jay. Because Jay still don't understand that. Why do you think we got the lion on our shirt, Jay? Right, Jay. Huh? You got to understand, Jay. Right now, you're in the midst of the men of God right, right. now. The children Yahweh. of Israel. Jay. And the lion, Yahweh. And, and, Yahweh and the lion's right. den. Yahweh is his name and it's dreadful to the heathen. Right, that's why he can't even say it right. Uh, that's right. <laughs> that's that means God, though, right? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What does it We're gods. <laughs> what does that mean? We're what gods, Jay. <laughs> right now, the men in front of you are gods and kings. But well, let's go. Y'all believe in the Bible? Read Obadiah. Come here to word of the Lord, real quick. Chapter one, verse three. The pride All right. of thy heart has deceived thee. The pride of your heart has deceived you. Come here to word too. Because you keep saying, "Not your people, not your people," that you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Read. Teach up. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Where they dwell? In the clefts of the rock. Who lived in the caves, Jay? Come on, Jay. Who lived, in, who lived in the caves in the clefts of the rock? Who, Jay? who come out? Who come out the caves, Jay? Human, human beings, bro. Come on, Jay. What, what humans? What humans <laughs> had to thrive? Who likes the cold weather, Jay? Who likes high altitudes, Jay? Are you talking about like when uh, when apes became humans? Oh, oh. Are you talking about apes I thought you, you said you believe the look, scriptures. Look, look at the Neanderthal nation, man, talking truth. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, Jay. How did, if you're trying to say the scriptures, like, say that Jesus came out of Adam and Eve, then I can't talk to you. Whoa! Well, I thought he believed in Christ. Are you saying that Christ believed that Adam and Eve is 100% the way the science worked out? Jay, we understand the scriptures properly through and Adam and Eve were not the only people on the planet, Jay. And we could go yeah. to that, but yeah, look, that's there another was something thing. called like. I think I think Jay believes we come from monkeys and shit. Jay yeah, we do. <laughs> I do. I do. But you don't. Jay. Jay. No, I can't talk. Hey, I can't Jay, talk hey Jay, you come from monkeys, Jay. Uh, I come from monkeys. You, you yes. come from yes. monkeys, yes. Jay. Say that again, Jay. <laughs> Say it again. I come from monkeys. Human beings come from monkeys. No, no, you <laughs> <laughs> you're not a human I, you being. Can't even, <laughs> Jay, you can't even be monkeys. human. What does the word "you" mean, Jay? Color. So you can't even be you, Jay. No. Uh, Why not? You're the because absence you're a Neanderthal. Of it. Hey, this is Psalms 14 and 1. Read out. Psalms 14 and 1. Read out. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. And what is Jay? <laughs> the fool have said in his heart, 
there is no God. But he came up here but saying that he believed in Christ right. sometimes. Right. They are corrupt. They are what? They, they are, are corrupt. What was Jay? They are corrupt. He's right. corrupt man because he kept sitting up here that's talking right. about that's not my people. That's right. Prophesy. Right. We're not white. Right. I'm from Lithuania. Right. Come on now, Jay. That's like the Herald of the Mountains. Yes. Literally, that's Bring it out. nothing but Caucus Mountains. Bring it out. Jay over here being nothing but a proud, deceitful man. Uh, right. And that's what we got to deal with, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. We got to keep living this life. And, in and come get the knowledge of the Lord. Y'all believe in the Bible? With these All right, two minutes for the Lord then. Y'all go to church? Hey, so can y'all tell us who Jesus is? Two minutes, sisters. <laughs> hey, but if they you told think you about it was okay to vape in church, sister? Right. Hey, but if you think about it, that Obadiah fits in perfectly. Right. Because he said, my people didn't put nobody in slavery. My people come from Massachusetts. Right. Not knowing that his people colonized the land from the so-called Native Americans. Exactly. Land. So the, the so-called white people. Hey, he believe in the Bible, Bible right? right? Are you are you a proud American? You see that? <laughs> Even the devil knows that his country's finished, man. Why gotcha. Why so red? Khan. Why and with that, bum ya All praise. All praise. Bum ya all I want to do is talk about America, the state of America, how it came to be this great nation as people claim it to be great, and inevitably what's going to happen to this place. This is all I want. I want people to look at this and actually say, go ahead, hold it, Baba Kishat, Thwata. I want people to look at that, and I want their reaction, I want their opinions on what should happen to the people that did that. I want to know if there should be any justice for that. That's all. I want to know if any reparations should come for the people who suffered said things. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4, Baba Kashab. Because through these <laughs> methods, guess what? We've lost our identity. Are y'all proud Americans? Can we make America great again, people? All we want to do is just ask a couple of questions. We won't bite. Our people, so-called blacks and Hispanics, have been deceived by this notion of this wicked country known as America. Are y'all proud Americans? Can we talk about America? Does anybody out here want to make America great again? This is making America great again. When all these people say, let's make America great again, what they want to do is actually say, we want to throw blacks, Hispanics, and uh, Native Americans back into captivity. Even though we're already into captivity, they want those back into the hard bondage, back into the chains, back into whippings again. Well, guess what? That's not going to happen according to scriptures. Hermano, puedo hablar con usted dos minutos. All right, brother, you need some baggy pants. Are y'all proud Americans? Can we talk about America, people? Sir, you look like a proud American. Are you a proud American? Can we talk about America? Come talk to uh, talk. Are you a proud American, sir? Yes, sir. Let's talk about America real quick. No, you good. You know why? Because deep down you're not proud of this country. You know that you had to rape, rob, and murder my people in order for y'all to get this land. Right. You know deep down that you have done nothing but commit atrocities. And that your, pe your people put nothing but disgusting wickedness on this earth. Who else is out here pushing pedophilia within these people? Who else is pushing homosexuality like the white man? Do you read history? The Greeks and the Romans loved pedastry, which means boy love. All y'all gotta do is pick up a book and read. Where are the proud Americans? That is all I'm asking for. Y'all going crazy for all this, you know, politics stuff that's coming around. But now when you got so-called niggas and spicks in your face saying let's talk about America, now y'all all mute. That doesn't make sense. I thought right now the, the, you know, the spirit of politics and all that should be at an all time high with all the stuff that's going on. You got that in Jeremiah? Come on, let's read. Book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse four. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. That's what we've been doing in this wicked land, serving our enemies serving a place that does not love us looking for people that don't care about us looking for help from a people that actually tell us every day to our face that they hate us grab me that bubble shot uh, our eyes.
looking for uh, vain help con because we as so-called blacks hispanics are coming out you see our people coming out here voting trying to be all up in the politics but yet our people have forgotten this right here Th these atrocities that happen to our people they forgot this and they think that politics is what's going to help us guess what the way politics is going we're going to end up right back in that same state we're going to end up right back on those chains because you have these people who are trump supporters who want to make america great again and what does trump advocate for he advocates for what being in a, the epitome of what in a racist white man is you see how he says that the so-called Issaquites should not be in this land. You see how he feels about the so-called African Americans. You see how he feels about our Judite brothers. You see how he feels about the Northern Kingdom brothers. And yet, our people, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Natives, you have some of them actually coming out here supporting Trump. They lost their heritage. We serve our enemies. We're looking for people to help us when every day they continue to spit on our face and just tell us how much they truly hate us. Go ahead and read that, It's the Book of Lamentations, chapter four, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation, for a nation that could not save us. That could not save us. The only way that so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives get salvation it's through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Right. But we are out here as our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, trying to look for these other people, these heathens, to save us. Kamala Harris ain't going to save you. Right. Donald Trump isn't going to save you. Right. But yet our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, want to continue to be in this po uh, political resume. Want to continue walking into this these po uh, political scandals. Because that's all... The politics, are y'all proud Americans? Can we talk about America real quick? Two minutes, why don't you wanna talk about a country that you're proud of? That makes no sense. If I'm proud of something, I'm gonna talk about it. They're really not proud. They're not proud, exactly. They're really not proud. These people are uh, oxymoronic in everything they do and say, they're asinine. Right. They say they're proud of something, but they don't want to discuss on it. If I'm proud of something, I'm going to discuss about it. Just like how we're proud of being the children of Israel, we talk about it. We're proud that Yahweh is our God, that Yahweh is our Savior. We're going to talk about it. Hey, sister, are you proud of yourself? Can we, so if you're proud, you're going to talk about it, right? Can we talk about the Bible real quick, sister? Two minutes. You see that? So she's proud of herself. But our people have no pride in their true heritage as Israelites. Our people are proud as being blacks, as being Hispanic, as being natives. When these names are nothing but proverbs, nothing but what? Uh, distorted names given to us by what? The, the enemies, Khan. What's that piece? It's the, pro it's the book of Proverbs chapter six and verse 16. These six things do of Yahweh hate. That he what? Do of Yahweh hate. So God hates, and it's always in the scriptures, but the so-called black, Hispanic, and native man, woman, and child does not believe in that because they've been, what, duped by the Christian Catholic Church that was set up by your friendly Edomite, so-called friendly. But we know that these people are nothing but devils. So they duped us into believing that God, Christ, is nothing but love, but yet all throughout the scriptures we're seeing how Yahweh destroys kingdoms, how he hates certain things, how he hates sinners, how he hates sin. He flooded the whole earth and only left eight people, but yet he's a lovable, huggable guy. Make that make sense. Read. These six things do of Yahweh hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Verse 17. A proud look. A proud look. In lying tongues. Just like how Jay was up here being very proudful and lying. Those are the things that Yahweh hates. He was up there up here saying what? That it wasn't his people, but he kept claiming Lithuanian, and what else was it, Scottish or something like that? So Irish, so the Irish and the Lithuanians, who he says are, are, they're not Edom, they're not white people, but clearly they are, that they didn't do the deceptions that they did. Make that make sense. And then he continued to lie, because what did he lie? The first thing he said was, yeah, he believed in Christ. 
And then we got into the scripture, he don't believe in Christ, he believes in science. That we come from monkeys. Who right. comes from monkeys? What's that, Darwin's theory? Darwin's theory, evolution. Right. Darwin was an idiot. Right. right, Darwin was an idiot, because why are there still monkeys? Right. Why are there still apes? Right. If, it was, if evolution is supposed to continue, show me humans growing wings. Right. Show me humans with gills. Right. Show me monkeys that can actually start speaking English, Spanish. Hey, look, listen to this scripture real quick. Real quick, this sister. One. You walk three times, one. sister. This Come on, one. you got time, sister. You see that? All we are out here to do is tell our, our so-called black sisters that they're the most precious, beautiful women on this planet and that they need to repent and keep the commandments. All right, all right. That's all we're trying to do is give them life. But our people are looking for death every day out here. They made a covenant with death. All right. If you could grab that for me, Baba Kishan. They made a covenant with death. And what's one of the biggest ways that our people die every day is by keep uh, continuing in the politics. Continue to invest themselves in saying that they want to make America great. Make that make sense. It doesn't. Because just like how although a J was proudful and, lie and lying, all those politicians are very proudful when they lie. They don't give a damn about black people and Hispanic people. They want to keep making money off of us. But then when we say, Hey, you the white people, the damn devil that the Bible speaks of, we're the wrong ones. Brother, come on, you don't walk three times. Todavía no me puede hablar. You see that? There's madness out here. Continue reading, huh? God. Verse 17. A proud look and a lion tongue. Hands that shed innocent blood. Did the Lithuanians, Irish, British, Dutch, Portuguese, Spaniard, did they not come and shed innocent blood? Yep. Our people were minding their own business, and yet here comes the Edomites, the Idumeans, who Jay, who was up here earlier, kept saying that he did not claim those people. They were up, right? They came over and they shed innocent blood. These people are the most deceitful, destructive, oxymoronic, hateful people on the planet. And our people, powerful as well. And our people, what do they do? Continue to run to and fro to them, looking for salvation from them, and on top of that, want to join into their politics. How can you join something that was never meant for you? Make that make sense. That's like me, a man, trying to go into a woman's bathroom. The woman's bathroom was not meant for a man. Just like how the American politics are not meant for black, Hispanics, and natives. Right, right. American politics were created for white people, by white people, right. to benefit them. Right. So why do I keep seeing all these niggas out here talking about some Kamala Harris, <laughs> uh, Joe Biden, Donald Trump? Make that make sense. You got so-called Mexicans and Hispanics out here trying to go for Donald Trump. And Donald Trump has nothing but distaste for the so-called Mexican man. Right. Make that make sense. They shed innocent blood. They continue to destroy us. Pero ustedes todavía quieren amar este país que se llama América. Ustedes como quieran quieren seguir los políticos. Do y are y'all proud Americans? Any of y'all? Anybody? Let's talk about America. Come over here. Come over here. Let's talk about America. Let's talk about America. And let's talk about the rape, robbery, and murder of my people that the so-called white man who's a proud American did. Let's talk about these things. It's all good when the white man go and gets retribution on the Taliban for 9-11 and Desert Storm, but we can't get retribution for what y'all did to us. It's very nice and dandy when y'all go to Vietnam to napalm bomb the Vietnamese people, but we can't speak on retribution. Are you a proud American, sir? Can yes. we talk about America? Absolutely. You're definitely a true caveman. Let's talk about it. <laughs> you see how they throw the fist up? Because Esau knows he's a caveman. Right. He knows that he's the devil that right. the Bible speaks of. But it's our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, that have been duped. Heritage stripped away. They've been lied to for hundreds of years, and they look at these people for help. These people will never help us. Right. These people will never care for us. And our people want to continue running amok with them. Again, the KKK wasn't created for niggas. That doesn't, it, it would look very crazy for me to try to join the KKK. So just like how the KKK was meant for white people, the American politics were created and only meant for white people. So as you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, 
We need to get our heads out the gutter and try to uh, and stop thinking that politics is going to be our help. Our help is are the scriptures. Our help is Yahweh. Our help is Yahweh Shai. All these other countries have their own politics. The Hindu man, he could go back to India, he has his own government. The Chinese man could go back to China, he has his own government, he has his own laws. Where's our government? Our government can't be the same people who raped, robbed, and murdered us. Right. It doesn't make sense that so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives want to join a government of people that hate us every day, that treat us two, uh, three-fifths of a human and less than a dog. That doesn't make sense. Matter of fact, grab me Isaiah 40 and 8 real quick. But, or, or you holding something? Yeah, I got one. Con, what, what, what you holding? Lamentations 4. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 1. How is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? Right. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. You see that? The gold's become dim. Who's that gold? Us, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. We are the gold, but we become dim because we've been duped by walking around hand in hand with our oppressors. We've been duped by letting these people think that we can continue sitting up here and actually trying to change them with their politics. It doesn't make sense at all. Guess what? The politics, the amendments, and all that stuff, they change all the time, by the way. Are y'all proud Americans, anybody? Proud America? Even, you see that? Why can't we find proud Americans? All I'm trying to do is find a proud American. And I just want to discuss on America. How did America come to be? Simple, you raped our ancestors. You murdered my ancestors. And you have to pay for that, according to the scriptures. But the, all these people, these proud Americans, they're supposed to believe in the scriptures. Supposed to, right? Because that's one of the things. They claim to be Christians, claim to be Protestants. And God they trust. Well, then let's read what the scripture says. Scripture says that your people have to pay for what you did. So, that's the scriptures. The scriptures never change. All praise to the Most High. How you doing, sister? You doing good? So real quick, sister, I just been talking about America. How do you feel about America, sister? You be, are you a so-called black woman? So being a so-called black woman, how do you feel this country treats our people? Uh, not, good. not good. And why is that, sister? Uh, discrimination, that's right. Do, uh, would you say, it would? Can I ask you, did we do anything to these people for them to treat us this way? Did we burn down their houses, steal their gold? Did we castrate them? Did we take their language away? Did they do that to us? So what did, what did we do to these people for them to have up this country that they built off of our backs to continue to treat us this way? What just happened to our dear sister Sonia Massey the other day? It's a tragedy. And yet our people want to join into the po politics. Do you think that the politics that was created by white people for war, white people, do you think that it would benefit us? Did it benefit back then? Has it benefited now? No. Let me, no. Do you believe in the scripture, sister? Let's show, uh, grab me a Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. Go ahead, sister. What's your name, by the way? My name is Ron Trisha. Ron Trisha. Okay, sister. So... You, being a so-called black woman, I will tell you right now that you're not black, sister. Your pants are black. We're different shades of brown. That name, that term was given to us by our oppressors. And what does that word, that term come with? A lot of negative connotations. If you think of something white, you think of something pure, clean, beautiful. When you think of black, you think of dirty, evil. That's why everything that's black is what? Black magic. Black cats, you know, they say there's bad luck with black cats. But if you have to see a white cat, what is, oh wow, it's precious. So they did this on purpose to destroy our mind as so-called black Hispanics and natives. They did this so that when in 2024, nowadays, we run around calling these selves our terms, we carry these, ne these connotations with them. Because they don't view us in a positive way. They view us very negative. Till this day, go for it sister. Well, if you would like to say something, and I just want to, I would just want to say to everyone in America, especially um, mm, the ones they call us niggers, the word nigger does not mean black. It has no color. 
The word nigga is a evil, conniving, devious, selfish, ungrateful, unthankful person. So that's another thing that we have been labeled as a nigger for what? Hey. Well, sister, we can show you that the word nigger is in the Bible and it does go back to black. Why they labeled that? Why we're labeled that? Well, simple, sister, because think about it. When the Grecians saw us, how else would they describe us? When they Hellenized the Jews, right? How would they say, okay, there's a distinction between the actual Grecians and then the Jews that were Hellenized? Color does have to matter because, hey, <laughs> did they do this? Where's he at? Sebo, Grammy Sebo the homo. Did they do that? They did that, but does he look like that according to the Bible? What does he look like in the Bible? In the Bible, it tells you that he looks like us. So color does matter, sister. Bronze, as, wool. Look, look at Sebo right there, look at him. Sebo, the homo. That is who these people are. So color does matter because when they distributed these lies and propaganda, our people have been duped into thinking that they are God. When, guess what? The real kings and gods are us. Right. We're the true princes and princesses on, that's supposed to run this earth. That's right. But let's go ahead and read this real quick in Jeremiah 17 and 4. Oh. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. So who discontinued from their heritage, sister? Out of all the people that you see on this earth right now, right? Do Chinese people still follow the ancient customs? Do they still know their ancient language? Do they still know about Buddhism and Taoism and all that? They do. Do the Arabic still follow their customs? Do the Hindu Indians still follow their customs? With Krishna, Shiva and all that? They do. Even the white man, because January comes from Janus, right? Uh, so does um, July comes from Julius, right? So even they still remember their customs. Do we know our customs? We Hell don't. No. So we're the ones who discontinue from our heritage. Read. Come. That I gave thee. So God gave us a heritage and a culture. Read. And I will cause thee uh -huh. to serve thy enemies mm -hmm. in the land which thou knowest not. You see that? So God caused us to serve our enemies in a land we know not. Do you know why though? Khan, what's your precept? Sarak, the book of Sarak, chapter 17 and verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge in the law of life for an heritage. The law of life is a heritage. The law of life is this Bible right here. Exactly, princess. So this book that we're supposed to follow, our ancestors, they broke the covenant they made with God. Do you have kids? When your kids acted bad, did you whoop their ass? You disciplined them. God did the same thing. He disciplined us. And he told us with discipline that he was gonna send us to a land where we don't know. He told us that we were gonna serve these people that look at us and make fun of us every day. So if breaking the commandments caused this, how will we get out of this? If breaking the commandments caused us to be in captivity, how will we get out of captivity? We can show you. Get that in Deuteronomy 28. And start at verse, uh, let's get the blessings. Let's get the blessings to show the sister. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse one. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, To observe and to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments, read. Which I command thee this day. Which he commanded in that day, read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He will make us on high, meaning we'll be running the world, read. Above all nations. Above what? Above all nations. Read. On the earth. Uh -huh. And all these blessings. And all the what? And all these blessings. Read. Shall come on thee. Mm -hmm. And overtake thee. And overtake us. If Something was to overtake you. What does that mean? If you was in a pool in the flood, or not a pool, but the ocean, and the f ocean had a mean flood and it overtook you, well, it would overwhelm you. You would pretty much be like drowned in it. So it's saying if we were to listen to God, 
that the blessings would pretty much be drowning us. We would be on top of the world, above all nations, read. Come. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. blessed shalt thou be in the city. We will be blessed in the city as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. Are we blessed in any in every city that we're living in now? We're not. Read. Blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground. You see that even the fruit of the body, that's pertaining to what? Your children. You see a lot of, I'm a young man, they would say I'm a part of this generation. You see a lot of people my age in this generation dying very early. They have lots of what? Drug issues, killing each other, throwing in prison, you know, kids running amok, telling the parents whatever. Right. So even the fruit of the body, which is the children, will be blessed. But the children are not blessed because we broke these commandments. Let's read. Book of Hosea, chapter 14, verse 1. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. See that? So we fell, but God is telling us to come back as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, so that we can stop going through these atrocities. We as Brothers up here, we're tired of seeing the Sonia Macy's. We're tired of seeing the Trayvon Martins. We're tired of seeing our sisters out here getting snatched up and going missing. We're tired of seeing our young brothers killing each other. But our people have to make the effort to actually start reading these scriptures and doing them. Because you can't just hear it, you have to do it. If you know better, you do better. Exactly, sister. So let's give you a couple of commandments that God told the children of Israel. What's your diet like, sister? Do you eat pork? Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot? Well, let's see what the scripture says, okay? Book of Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. So now we're going from the pig now to what we can eat in the waters. And once uh, he reads that, then I'll break it down further so you can get more edification. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the sea and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. See that? So pigs, shrimp, crab, lobster, shellfish, clams, oysters, all these things, we as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, we view these things as delicacies. But God told us not to eat these things. Because what? Not only is there a spiritual aspect in the sense of what? People say you are what you eat. Pigs are what? Slothful, disgusting creatures. When you intake that thing, Okay, when you intake these things, what happens? You also start having the characteristics of the of that said creature. You feel me? You don't want to eat shrimp either because what is a shrimp? It's a roach. Shrimp, crab, and lobsters are roaches. They're just in the waters, people. Entonces, ustedes que andan siempre comiendo camarones, diciendo, I know you can eat camarón con mantequilla. You're eating a shrimp. And a shrimp is what? A roach. They're arthropods. You have a spiritual sense where God's telling you, don't do it. Then you could get into the science of it. And the science behind it is that a shrimp is a roach. Your crabs are spiders. And when you eat lobsters, you're eating scorpions. Would you go and just grab a scorpion and eat it? Throw a little butter on it? Would you grab a spider and say, mm, let me break off his leg and dip it in some butter? No, those are arthropods. What do they have in common also? They're, they eat the bottom things, the bottom feeders. And they have exoskeletons. Why don't people think about this stuff? You see a spider, spiders have hard shells. Yeah. So why don't you see this four-legged creature, uh, this eight-legged creature that's in the waters with hard shells that's eating bottom feeding stuff and nobody says, you know what, let me put two and two together. Simple, because our people have been duped and we're uneducated. This law is supposed to be our heritage system. I'm, I'm interested in this, I'm interested in all that. Mm -hmm. You got a flyer, right? Yeah, I got 
Okay, so real quick, can you see where you come from? Which tribe you would be? And if I could get you one more, Grammy he Hebrews 7 and 14, Babasha. Bring it out. You come from what? Say it out loud. Judah. Okay. Judah. That's right. I'm going to show you who also comes from Judah, sister. <laughs> Hebrews 7 Judah. and 14. Yeah. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of Judah. So Jesus Christ would be a so-called black man if he was walking on this earth right now. Right. He comes from the tribe of Judah. That's right. So, sister, our message as so-called black Hispanic natives that we tell our people to repent, keep the commandments so that we can live and get up out of here. Right. And with that, you enjoy your night. Be safe out here. And we love you, sister. It's been a pleasure. I want to say something to the though. What do you want to say, bro? All uh, black African Americans, Judah, you need to be right here and listen to the word. That's right. Is the key. Now it's oh, the key. Hey. We need to wake up in the United States of America. That's right. And we love uh, black, black lives matter. That's right. Israelite lives matter. Israelite. 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 That is what so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives need to do, is come hear this word. Right. Wake up and understand your true knowledge. They walk about, they walk about like, All we're trying to do is wake our people up. See, that's that the one is right there. with the madness of following America. He don't want the knowledge. They don't want the knowledge, sister. You gotta go up there and compel them. You gotta yeah. compel them, sister. Well, you know why? Because see, if you break away from them, then hey. Hey. Sister, we love you. You have we a safe night. I enjoy right? this. Thank you. Oh, hey, sis, hey, sis, come here real quick. Real quick. Hey, sis, hey, is this, is, is this the Lord? Yeah, is this the Lord? Is this Jesus Christ? No. So, so this is the devil, right? That's the devil. Hey, shoot. All praises. Right? Tell, tell the world that this is the devil. That is the devil every day. That's, that's that right. That is not the way Jesus looks. That's right. With the white man up on the wall for what? Get that here. Could you step on him real quick for us? Step on that Step on him. Step on oh! Him. All oh, praises. Oh, praises. And that's why we out here to wake our people up. We love you, sister. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Repent, keep right. the commandments. We love you. All oh, praises. That's why we out here to wake our people up. To get our people to understand that they are the true kings, the true princes and princesses on this earth. And that we are supposed to be running this world. But the only way we run this world is by keeping the commandments. Right. You got something on? Anybody holding? Or oh, another brother want to come up? You know, we said we flowing with the spirit. Everybody get a little summon in. Flowing with the spirit. We flowing. Who up next? Khan, Khan. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourself together. Gather yourself together. Yeah, gather yourself together. Oh, nation not desire. You see that? Because just like that, sister, nobody desires us. These nations, they don't desire that, sister, but we do. We love our people, and that's why we're out here. And we have to gather ourselves together in truth and sincerity. And how do we do it? By actually reading these scriptures. All these gangs, they ain't going to work out for our people. All these are parties that our people set up, they never work out. Because they don't have the truth and sincerity in it. So we're out here to wake our people up and let them understand who they truly are. You holding anything up? Nah, come on. Uh, Nah, we're going to get this last one, and I'm going to wrap it up and let the next mighty powerful brother come up. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh shall begin to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. See that? And that's what we're telling our people. And most high women, just like how that sister was listening, she repents, keep these commandments, and our people can actually inevitably get out of here. And with that, I want to say, Karla Yahweh Bashima Mashiach Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh. Are you a proud American, son? Let's talk about America. Brother, you got two minutes now for us? You say you're a pastor, brother, you got two minutes? Mm -hmm. We preach to the people, too. Come on, you can have it next. Right, hold on, brother. Let me ask you one question. Brother, no, I just no, I just want to ask one question, brother. Brother, can I ask one question? No. No? 
That's See, pastor, that's crazy. Hey, that's the love. That's the love right there. That's the love. That's the love. I just want to ask one question, brother. Can you tell me? What? Hey, that's love and brother. patience right there. Hey, brother, is what does Jesus look like, brother? Right? How can you preach Jesus? He's not white. You can't possibly be following Jesus. You know why? Because Jesus kept the commandments. You ain't keeping no commandments. Right. How do you pastor but can't answer a question? I thought the duty of the teachers, pastors, preachers are to answer questions that people ask. Man, there's madness out here. But yeah, with that uh call la Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Call la Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai, Tari Yahweh, Tari Yahweh Shai, Kom Yashawala, Kom Yashawala, Kom Yashawala.